हॅलो फ्रेंड्स आय एम संपला कुलकर्णी वेलकम्स यू इन माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स इन दिस व्हिडिओ सिरीज आय एम एक्सप्लेनिंग यू द कन्सेप्ट ऑफ ग्राफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर ग्राफ अ नॉन लिनियर डेटा स्ट्रक्चर बिफोर मुव्हिंग टू द कंटेंट आय वुड लाईक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल टेक टॉक्स अँड किप द बेल रिंगिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वॉट डिफरंट ग्राफ ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक्स आर सो द फर्स्ट टेक्निक इज डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक विच गोज इन टू डेप्थ अँड द अनदर टेक्निक इज ब्रेड द फर्स्ट ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक विच ट्रॅव्हर्स अ ग्राफ अकॉर्डिंग टू ब्रेड दॅट इज ऑन द सेम लेवल फ्रॉम विच इन टुडेज सेशन वी आर गोईंग टू फोकस ऑन डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक दॅट इज डी एफ एस ट्रॅव्हर्सल फॉर अ ग्राफ डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेट लेट सी वॉट इज डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च टेक्निक वॉट इज आयडिया बिहाइंड द डी एफ एस टेक्निक सो वाईल ट्रॅव्हर्सिंग अ ग्राफ मुव्हिंग इन अ डेप्थ इज द मेन कन्सेप्ट इन द डेप्थ फर्स्ट सर्च ट्रॅव्हर्सल टेक्निक इफ यू हॅव सीन ऑर इफ यू आर नोईंग द ट्री डेटा स्ट्रक्चर यू मस्ट बी नोईंग दॅट the dfs there are three ways in which we can traverse a tree while moving into the depth we are having three separate ways to traverse a tree here with respect to graph we don't have that much ways but only a single way is there with which we can traverse a graph data structure which is called as dfs so while moving to the depth we should have the backup of the current level so that's why as and when there is a concept of moving in depth there must be a question of backing up of a current node or a current level for that we have to take help of a data structure which is called as stack so always depth first search traversal technique can be implemented efficiently using a data structure stack why stack is used because stack is having a nature or a behavior of last in first out and that behavior is helpful while returning back to the previous level so now let's start with the depth first search traversal technique and with the salt example so for the given graph or a real time graph we are going to traverse this into the depth first search traversal how to traverse it that i am going to explain you before that let's see what is an algorithm for the depth first search traversal so very first step a prerequisite for the depth first search traversal technique is we have to start from any arbitrary vertex of the graph so from which you are going to start that vertex you have to push onto the stack that you are going to term as a root vertex of your graph and simultaneously you have to mark it as visited because with respect to tree data structure we are knowing that in a binary tree always a root node is having maximum two number of child nodes this is not the case with the graph graph we can't say that any of the node can have any number of out degree so that's why here to indicate whether we have visited that particular node or not we have gone through that node or not we have to mark it as visited so for that purpose we whenever we are going to push any of the node vertex onto the stack we have to mark them as visited so in the same way whenever you are going to start for the dfs you have to push that root node onto the stack by marking it as visited now my step number 1 is step number 1 is whatever the top of the stack is there that you have to pop first and you have to display it this is your step number 1 what is step number 2 step number 2 is whatever popped item is there for that popped item you have to find out adjacent and unvisited vertices that all vertices you have to push back onto the stack what you have to see 
listen carefully you have to find out all the adjacent and unvisited vertices of the popped item and for that you have to push them onto the stack and after pushing them onto the stack you have to mark them as a visited node and if there is no any adjacent vertex is there which is found to push it onto the stack you return back to the step number 1 Again, you have to pop the top of the stack, and you have to display it. Whatever popped item is there, for that you have to push its adjacent what an unvisited what I says onto the top of the stack, and again you have to mark them as visited. So these steps you have to perform repeatedly, and that I am going to indicate you in the step number three. So step number one and two you have to perform repeatedly till your stack is going to become empty. when your stack is empty it indicates that you have done with the dfs traversal so let's start to solve the real time example this is the real time example where i am trying to explain you different capital of the state of india are connected to each other and i have to traverse all of them here you have to start with any arbitrary vertex and in this example i am explaining you by indicating that my the the capital jaipur is the starting vertex here in this bottom portion i am giving you the dfs traversal output here i am indicating that i am starting from a jaipur so that's why my first vertex or a root vertex is jaipur here you can see that i am utilizing a stack data structure for the same because i am using or i am implementing the depth first search traversal technique what is my prerequisite i have to push the any arbitrary vertex from which i am going to start for the dfs traversal onto the stack so i am pushing it onto the stack and i am marking it as visited also i am popping it from a stack and i am displaying it into the dfs traversal and the change in color that i am indicating it is visited now for the popped item jaipur is popped from a stack what are their adjacent and unvisited vertices they are here you can see that what are different adjacent vertices to jaipur they are gandhinagar mumbai then here you can see that jaipur sorry bangalore Jaipur to Hyderabad link is there and Jaipur to Bhopal link is there so all these are that is Gandhinagar Mumbai Bangalore Hyderabad and Bhopal or all are its adjacent vertices from which we have to check whether they are unvisited yes all of them are unvisited so that's why we have to push them onto the stack one by one i can push all of them into any of the order that is starting from bhopal then hyderabad then bangalore then mumbai then gandhinagar or starting from gandhinagar then mumbai bangalore hyderabad bhopal any of the sequence you can apply over here there is no any issue while applying or while pushing the content onto the stack here i am using the sequence like first of all i'll push the gandhinagar to the stack a uh, while uh, pushing content onto the stack or uh, adjacent vertex unvisited vertex onto the stack after pushing it we have to mark it as visited why because if we will not mark it as visited we can push that vertex any of the time and that is not allowed in the algorithm so that's why marking of that uh, marking visited to that vertex after pushing it onto the stack is mandatory after that let's push the another vertex is nothing but mumbai and mark it as visited let's push the next adjacent vertex is nothing but bangalore and mark it as visited next is hyderabad push it onto the stack and mark it as visited and the last one bhopal push it onto the stack and mark it as visited after doing this no any vertex is remaining which is adjacent and unvisited so that's why we have to pop top of the stack and we have to write down or display it into the dfs traversal so let's pop top of the stack is nothing but bhopal and display over here now what are whatever the popped item is there for that you have to check for adjacent vertices 
and if they are unvisited you have to push it onto the stack so let's check which are the adjacent vertices for bhopal for bhopal there are adjacent vertices are mumbai here you can see that hyderabad and uh, raipur from which mumbai and hyderabad are already visited if we have not marked it as visited we have to push them onto the stack and you can see over here already mumbai and hyderabad are available onto the stack and that we, that's why if they are marked they are visited we are not going to consider them but here you can see that raipur is not yet visited so that's why we will push raipur onto the stack and then we will mark it as visited so here you can see that here i am pushing raipur onto the stack and i am marking it as visited now there is no any vertex is remaining for bhopal that is unvisited and not pushed onto the stack so that's why now it's turn to return back to step number 1 to pop top of the stack which one is the top of the stack it is nothing but raipur so i'll pop it and i'll display it onto the dfs traversal whatever the popped item is there for that let's find out the unvisited node that we have to push onto the stack for raipur bhopal which is already visited hyderabad which is also already visited so no any item is remaining to push onto the stack so that's why again we will go back and we will pop go back to the step number 1 and we will pop top of the stack is nothing but hyderabad let's pop it and display it into the dfs traversal now here for hyderabad let's find out whether any unvisited node is there remaining for hyderabad which is adjacent to hyderabad and which is not yet push onto the stack no because adjacent vertices are bangalore jaipur bhopal and raipur all are visited and that's why no need to push it onto the stack we will return back to step number 1 to pop top of the stack is nothing but bangalore i am popping it from a stack and i am displaying it for bangalore let's find out is there any vertex is there adjacent vertex to bangalore which is not yet visited yes you are correct so panji is remaining which is connected to bangalore adjacent to bangalore and which is not yet visited so what we have to do we have to push this panji vertex onto the stack let's push it and here you can observe that i am marking it as visited why because we have pushed it onto the stack after this is there any vertex is remaining to bangalore which is adjacent to bangalore and not yet visited no so that's why we will return back to stack number 1 and we will pop top of the stack so let's pop panji from the stack and display it here you can see that no any vertex is remaining which is adjacent to panji and not visited all are visited so that's why return back to step number 1 pop top of the stack is nothing but mumbai and i have displayed it again no any adjacent vertex is remaining for mumbai to uh, which is not visited or to push on to the stack so that's why return back to step number 1 and pop top of the stack is nothing but gandhi nagar and display it on to the dfs travel cell so in this way we have done with the depth first search travel cell for the given graph here you can see that my stack is empty as well as all nodes are visited it indicates that we have done with the depth first search travel cell for a given graph so thank you all dear friends for listening and watching my video if you like the content and the video please do not forget to give the comment if you are having any of the query you can post it into the comment box i will try to solve your query here for your reference i am providing you a shortcut link for the next video of this video series that is nothing but the breadth first search traversal for your reference i am providing you a shortcut link for a whole video series for the graph data structure and i am providing a shortcut link for my channel subscription as well do subscribe my channel keep watching stay tuned with tech talks happy learning happy data structuring thank you